it's really cute. And I want to take it out and hug it and squeeze it, but I don't want it to get dirty. <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. I am here today with probably my most random video ever. I recently sold my soul for reservations on the 2020 New Kids on the Block cruise. And in honor of that, I want to share with you all the random old crap I have bought since my New Kids on the Block obsession started earlier this year. A lot of it is vintage. A lot of it is older than I am. I was born in 1991. They were already super mega hit pop stars by then. And... <laughs> I'm so like stupidly excited about this. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, the most expensive thing that I purchased was all five of their original dolls, new in box, from 1990. I paid $200 on eBay for all of these. So here we have Danny, <laughs> he has, you can't really tell, but he has his curly little rat tail. These are just so stinking cute. They all come with these little cassettes with um, special interviews on them or something, but even if I did open this, I don't think I have a cassette player to listen to it with, so they're going to stay in here. Honestly, I want to buy a second set of all of these that are already opened just to play with. <laughs> um, I was really excited to get these because I do have the whole collection of the InSync dolls still in boxes as well. So at some point, they are going to decorate a room. But this one is Danny. Here we have Jonathan. He also comes with another little cassette they all do and a microphone, which is so cute. He's got a little earring in. He's got his serious Jonathan face. Can you see it? These are so fun. These are the in concert editions. They also have um, like fashion ones or something, which those would be cool to collect also. Here we have Jordan. This is the only one that has a little bit of damage to the box. It's got a little crack right here in the plastic, which the person I bought it from was nice enough to let me know about that before she took my payment, but I'm like, I don't care. It's all five of them. I want them all. His comes with a little hat. He's so cute. I love these. I love these. Here on the back, it has the other dolls that they have. They are the hanging loose fashion figures. And these ones are the in concert fashion figures. Then down here they have the phone and a little cassette player and a little stage that you can uh, buy to go with the dolls. I've seen it on eBay, but I don't think I've seen one that still has all of the pieces. Here we have Joe. His little boyish face, because he's a little boy. And Donnie. I, um, I was a, a little concerned that these could be haunted just because I do love my supernatural shows and uh, ghost hunting shows. And I was like, should I really be buying all these dolls that are older than I am? And speaking of, I did get another doll. And I would like to get all of them, but these ones are pretty expensive. Here I have, and no regrets, Showtime Kids Soft Huggable Dolls, Jordan. Look at how big this thing is. He kind of looks like Charlie Sheen, and that, that would be a pretty scary stuffed animal. But um, it's so big. It says here that someone originally bought it from a place called Hearts for $28.99, which I spent $40 for this on eBay. And that was with shipping. So it wasn't like a crazy huge markup considering this is still new in box and um, 30 years old. Well, almost 29 years old. This is from 1990. Um, I initially, when I bought it, I had plans to take it out. I'm like, I want to take it out. I want to hug it and squeeze it. But I also don't want to get dog hair on it. So it kind of has been in the box since I got it. And I was really scared that it could be haunted because it is so old. But it's really cute. And I want to take it out and hug it and squeeze it, but I don't want it to get dirty. <laughs> I 
kind of want to buy the Donnie and Joey ones. Those are the only other ones I could find on eBay, like unopened, but they're like 80 bucks. I have not seen Danny or Jonathan anywhere though, but I can't spend any money right now because I have some astronomical monthly payments I have to make on that cruise, but totally worth it. My camera's dying. <sighs> I film like once every four weeks and my camera's somehow always dead. Here I have a whole box of trading cards. These are the new kids on the block. Super gloss photo cards with stickers. Hot new picks. These are from 1989. So these cards are 30 years old. And it comes with, how many packs does it come with? 36 packs and they were all unopened. I think I opened about half of them. Yeah, this box cost me like 20 bucks on eBay, which I don't think is that bad because it's like, a whole box full of them but there's only like 80 different cards and there's a lot of cards in here so I got a lot of repeats let's open one of them right now one that's not open yet let me see it, they're so fun all right we'll open up this one right here tearing apart 30 year old glue I'm sure that's healthy let's see what we got this is the sticker one. I did open one of the stickers so far and its stickiness wasn't that sticky. These are kind of like cardboard paper feeling. Here we have all the guys in black and white. Some of them have really funny things on the back. Uh, here's Danny. And on the back it has a little tidbit. It says Jordan and Danny both love to play basketball and are big fans of their hometown Boston Celtics. Here's another one of Danny. Um, here's all the guys standing on stage. What does this one say? Donnie knew his talented schoolmates could make it as new kids if he could just get them to audition. So Danny Wood, Jonathan, and Jordan Knight showed producer Maury Starr that they had the right stuff. Here we have a side view of Joey. On the back it says Jordan Knight. Jordan thinks the biggest turn on is people being nice to others. The biggest turn off is people acting like jerks to others because they are different. His most prized possession is his family. I don't know why they have that tidbit about Jordan on the back of a Joey card. There's actually some stuff in here that's wrong. Like their birthdays and who's oldest. So I guess that was, you know, back before IMDb. Here we have Donnie, Donnie Wahlberg. Donnie is discovered. When Donnie Wahlberg auditioned for the hot new group, producer Maury Starr knew he had found a star of his own. Donnie was chosen to be the very first new kid. And here's another one of Danny. Danny Wood's ultimate goal is to be a producer. And the last one is one of Jonathan looking serious. Hmm. On the back, some of them have quiz questions and then answers on backs of random ones. So you won't find the answer on the same card. All right. But some of them have like really funny stuff on the back, like how everybody went and was asking for the super cool hot new hairdo, which is buzzed on the head and a long rat tail in the back. Oh, and a lot of stuff about staying in school and staying away from drugs, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so probably one of the most ridiculous things that I bought, and it came in like a big set of a bunch of other stuff, are some 1989 birthday plates. These are paper birthday party plates. We have cake plates and we've got food plates. And it's got all of them in black and white. It's upside down. Um, they're unopened. Well, kind of. This has a big rip in it. But I thought, how fun would it be next year for my 29th birthday to have a new Kids on the Block party? And um, on eBay, they also have, like, new Kids on the Block goodie bags and invitation cards and napkins. So I might actually have to do that. So those came in a pack with a bunch of other stuff, including this. This is a new Kids on the Block card game. This was opened. I took a little peek at it and... 
it it looks like like I don't know too much for me to understand I'm not a card player uh, maybe go fish solitaire or something like that but yeah who doesn't want new kids on the block cards I'm sure you could use them for anything though any kind of game stop playing those games now this is also a pretty ridiculous purchase but I've got two Okay, so my camera died. I charged it for like three minutes. So let's see how fast we can get through the rest of this. Anyway, I've got two unused New Kids on the Block coloring books from their cartoon, which I've never seen, but I would love to because why shouldn't they have a cartoon? Unfortunately, but not unrealistically, the pages are all kind of yellowed. So I think if I were ever to color I would probably make a photocopy of them with a printer and then color them in on nice crisp paper but like <laughs> this is just too much I can't even and what year are these from I'm not sure but they were only 49 cents when they were purchased so that's cool and the last thing that came in that big kind of like set was this sticker book which I have not opened and I want to open um why don't we just go ahead and open it right now a total of 30 stickers stickers starter set with album oh my battery lights on again <sighs> I just don't have the patience you know I just don't okay whoa this is what it looks like Look at all these cute little stickers. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am really kind of worried that the glue, the stickiness might not be sticky anymore though, just because of how old this stuff is. It's not coming off of the book itself very well. Okay, so see, I see what happened. Speaking of the glue, this opened up. All these little things were inside of these packets. Let's open the album. Ooh. There's actual, like, the things are just falling off everywhere. But there's actual slots on all these pages for, I guess, specific. <laughs> it's all just falling out. There, because they were all the stickers were in these little packets, but they are no good anymore. Um. I guess worst come to worst, I could always just glue them in myself. But there's spots for each number. This is really cool. I don't know if I'd want to cover up all the pictures in here, though. You know? I need to collect these because they are just falling all over the place. But I think when you put certain ones together, they make a picture. Because I don't know why would you just, why you would just want this part of a picture. But whatever that whole set with the card game the plates the sticker book and the coloring book was I think like $50 or something like that then I also bought this for $30 this was listed as an original in-store display for these pins so I'm assuming that you would buy each pin separately they had a ton of these and I kind of want to buy another one because the pins are random. Like you're not going to get the same one on each one of these things. But this is from, I think, 1990, which, oh, 1989 right here. That's so cool. So this is 30 years old. And it comes with a bunch of random pins. We have a lot of them with all the guys. We've got some with like just one face. There's more on this side. They came with, I think, 40 different pins. So... <laughs> I got a pin collection just like that. And, um, yeah, like I said, I might buy another one of those. Shh. The only other things I got are clothes, and they are not vintage. That is one thing I will not do. I cannot do used clothes. This one right here that I'm wearing, I got at their concert in Orlando from the mixtape tour. I also bought this from their website. This is the best Christmas sweater I will ever own. It says my Christmas wish list, Donnie, Danny, Jordan, John, Joey. Okay, camera died again, charged it just enough to pick up all those stickers and let's finish this. This is another tour shirt. I got it from their website. And then this shirt I bought with the tickets. It was like an extra $25 when I bought the tickets. Okay, so that is it. This is my 
new kids on the block collection i um yeah can't wait for the cruise um please subscribe like this video i know it's a little bit wacky but it's kind of awesome what happened to the camera here okay there i am okay um i love you see you later subscribe love you bye